If, if the devil, if the devil, there's no if about it. The devil <laughs> is what he does. Steal, kill, and destroy. So you find some place in your life where the devil's been in your, you know, there's footprints, there's toe prints in your tulips. You start looking around. Because it's, it's your right and it's your authority to begin to bind him. To spoil, to seize, and to take the goods. The things that, the things that you see in the Word of God. The things that have been preached here that you don't see to, seem to be happening in your life to the degree that you want it. <laughs> take it. Take it. Take it. Bind the strong man and seize, spoil, and take the goods. Hallelujah. Take it in Jesus' name. Glory to God. 1 Timothy chapter 6. In verse 12, we've read this before. It says, fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold unto eternal life, whereunto thou art also called and has professed a good profession before many witnesses. Fight the good fight of faith, lay hold unto eternal life. Again, eternal life is the Greek word zoe, which is also translated everlasting life, which is also translated as eternal life, which is also translated the abundant life in John 10.10. 10. The abundant life and living. So he told us, listen, fight the good fight of faith and lay hold onto eternal life, onto the abundant life, unto the abundant excessive beyond measure superior in quality life and living. Lay hold of it. Doesn't that sound a whole lot like seize, spoil, and take? You lay hold of it. Don't let the devil take what God has given you. We are not to allow the devil to take what the devil, what God has given to us. Amen? Amen? Lay hold of it. Fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold of it. Take hold of it. Don't let it go. And when you say, I call you loosed, Satan, I bind you. Get your hands off of my stuff in the name of Jesus. I bind you. I seize take, spoil the goods. I take it. And he goes like this. <whistles> Pretending he doesn't know you're talking to him and just hoping that you're going to uh, stop. If he just ignores you long enough, you're going to stop. No, don't, don't give up. Don't give up. Hallelujah. I take it. I take it. Lord, I thank you for it. I give you praise and glory and honor for it. Lord, I want to thank you. It's loose. It's free. It's mine. And you are my provider. You are my healer. You are my deliverer. I give you all the praise and the glory and honor. I have known and believed the love. I've known and believed the love you have for me. I thank you for it. I thank you for it. You love me and everything's going to be all right. I thank you for your love. I thank you for your goodness. Glory to God. Jesus, you ever liveth to make intercession for me. You are praying for me all the time. You are praying for me all the time. You're praying for me right now. And so I refuse to give up. I refuse to let go of what I've laid hold of because he's praying for you and I right now. 24 hours a day. He ever liveth to make intercession for us. So don't ever let the devil put the thought in there that God doesn't care. That he doesn't know what's going on in your life. Because Jesus is at the Father's right hand as your advocate. As your intercessor. He's in the courtroom of heaven standing up on your behalf all day long. I think it's Isaiah that says, you know, a mother may forget her child, but God will never forget us because he has us tattooed on the back of his hand. That's called covenant remembrance. 
it's impossible for him to not have you on his mind. It's impossible. It's called covenant remembrance. Jesus' blood was spilt. The sacrifice was paid so he could fix everything for you and I. He's not forgotten about us. Jesus ever liveth to make intercession for us. He's praying for you and I. Hallelujah. He's praying the perfect will of God for you and I. He's praying the best. He's praying life. He's praying abundance. He's praying increase. He's praying freedom and deliverance for you and for I. Amen? Hallelujah. He doesn't, take, he doesn't have to sleep. There's no sleeping in heaven. He doesn't have to sleep. He doesn't say, you know, just, just give me an hour. I need to take a break. Jesus doesn't need a break. What he needs is our help working together with him. Not letting go. Fight the good fight of faith. Fight the good fight of faith. Fight the good fight of faith. Laying hold onto the eternal, everlasting, abundant life. Lay hold.